Hello ladies and gentlemen, hi Link, and welcome to another Pokemon TCGO video. Today guys, we have a fun little deck here. This has easily become my favorite deck right now, ah, second favorite deck. My favorite competitive deck right now is a Metagross deck. I love Metagross and Necrozma, I love the combination. Now going into this, I was like, oh the main attacker is going to be Necrozma. 90% of my matches, my main attacker is Metagross, surprisingly. I know, weird, right? But Metagross is my main attacker. So, like, I see a lot of people doing 7 and 5. I do 6 and 6. I think that's a good even number. I like it. Some weird text I throw in here, Cobalion. I love Cobalion. I've been looking for a deck to actually use him. Revenge Blast is such a good attack. 30 plus, so every time it's doing 30, at least. This deck does 30 more damage for each prize card your opponent has taken. Now... Ideally, you want to have Cobal... I don't know if it's Cobalion or Cobalion. I've heard people pronounce it other ways. Um, you're not going to use Cobalion until late in the game. If your opponent's taking four prize cards, it's four times 30. It is doing a hundred and twenty... A hundred... A hundred fifty. It does 120 plus 30, so 150. With a choice band, it is doing 180, which is a good amount for a one prize attacker. And Quick Guard does actually stall you out for another turn, which is nice. And it's also... Two retreat costs, which sucks, so you don't want to start off with them. But if you quick guard, your opponent can't, you, like, you resist the Drampo and all that kind of, po all those kinds of Pokemon. So that's really good. Also, all of these Pokemon pretty much have resistance to Psychic. So Metagross resistance to Psychic. Um, like I said, Cobalion, Cobalion, whatever it is, does uh, have resistance to it too. And then our other attacker has actually a weakness to it, which is good. We have a weakness and a resistance to Psychic, which is very, very good. The biggest issue, there's two very popular decks that, I'm not going to say it's an auto loss. Well, one is an auto loss. If you go up against Greninja, you lose. It's it's not, it's, it's not possible. I, I've tried so many times, it's just not possible. Which is one of the reasons why, you see this little guy right here, I've teched him in, I'm taking him out. He's not, he's not doing the utmost of work. I mean, he did help a little bit, but it wasn't winning me the game, so it's just not worth having in there. I think I'm going to throw in another Rescue Stretcher. Having two Rescue Stretchers is really good. Especially, this is post-rotation. Post-rotation isn't officially out yet. Right now, as of recording this, it is the 30th, and a rotation is the first, I believe. I don't know how fast Pokemon TCGO will do it. Like, if it's the first, they automatically take out VS Seekers, which I'm very excited for. But I'm looking forward to that. Um, so Greninja's an auto loss. The other bad matchup is Volcanion. Volcanion is very common, but you can't beat it. And you have to rely on Necrozma, which is the only reason why I actually have Necrozma in here. Necrozma's Prismatic Burst does 10 plus 60 for each Psychic Energy attached to this Pokemon. So, if it has 3 on it, it's doing 190, which Oko's a, uh, Ho-Oh. Very good. Oh, knocks out, like, every basic GX or any Pokemon in general. With a Choice Band, it's doing 220 which is knocking out things like Alola Ninetales and other, which Alola Ninetales isn't much of an issue for this deck because of Metagross. Now, I will say there is one massive issue for this deck, and that is Alola, baby Alola Ninetales, which is the main reason why I have Cob Cobalion in here. That's the other big reason I have him in here. He's pretty much going to be my only attacker for that deck, and that's why I needed two Rescue Stretchers as well. One hasn't been enough, but I do only run two Rare Candies. I haven't found Rare Candies too necessary. Especially with the amount of e Espeon EX is going around, I'd rather just be able to evolve them manually and take my time with it. And taking my time is actually not that bad because you get to get rid of energies and put them in the discard pile, which is kind of the whole point of Metagross. So yeah, I like this deck a lot. Things I could do that I'm, I've am i heavily considered. Minus Skyla and add another Guzma. Make three Guzmas. Um, a lot of people have started putting in two Bridgets into the deck. I don't think it's that necessary. I don't think it's that needy possibly three leles although you are tight for bench space as it is so i do think two is enough for this deck um you know maybe we'll try out some more maybe i'll take out skyla and add in a lele or something like that we'll have to see uh right now save yes um right now i am 19 and 31 with this deck i tried i've been trying my best since yesterday to get a good uh record with this and see how good it is it's better than that. I will say it's better than that. I went up against three straight Greninja matchups, and I lost all three of them. That's when I was like, okay, I need a break from this. So that, that was three of my losses. But Greninja is popular. Um, Gardevoir, it's basically an auto win. It really is. It's that good. Like, uh, as long as you get a little Volpix out and you don't have a bad start. If you ever, like, draw dead, 
you're gonna lose against any deck if you draw dead for the first like five turns you're gonna lose like there's there's no beating that that'll happen in any deck some decks are more consistent but this is still good especially if you're able to get a lele for bridget or bridget for the freaking alolan volpix as long as you get alolan volpix up you'll be fine because you could draw into or you could grab two pokemon grab like a metagross and a lele if you need to like undraw dead Ah, I got a smoothie. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. This is actually a good start. The other nice thing... Oh, I didn't explain why I have Copycat or Mimikyu here. Copycat is such a good attack. I have found it so good. So good against certain matchups. Um, Volcanion, very good. One prize attacker as well. And it could do 160 to Turtonator. 180 to Ho-Oh. 130 to Volcanion. It's really good. Really good. And it's a psychic, so I can use Metagross's ability. Wow, okay, he just passed. We're going up against a Garboder deck, which is an issue, but we do run three of these bad boys right here for Garboder, which is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, I'm going to grab two of you and a Vulpix. That's just how normally you go about it. Um, if this is an Espeon, I would like to get a... Uh, what is it called? Uh, Necrozma out, but right now we don't need to. Um, I think I'm gonna grab a Matang and Metagross, and next turn I'm gonna evolve the Beldum into Matang, and then I'm gonna Skyla for a rare candy and evolve him so I can. Like, I don't want to Sycamore next turn because I want the Field Blower. Now, if my opponent does. Oh, God, okay. They're playing pre rotation, so they have a little bit of an advantage, but that doesn't hurt me too much. Okay, it looks like he's drawing dead, which is good for me. We're gonna grab the rare candy. Um, we're still gonna be. A little tight here. I'm not going to be able to evolve or, or not use ability still. But that's not a big deal. Um, I don't... Let's put that on you. Link, come on, be nice. Um, hmm. Do I think... I'd rather get a Beldum down than a, a Necrozma right now. Link, come here, buddy. You don't need to bark. I see you right there. Look, I'm over here. I see you. He's just staring at me like, what did I do? What did I do? Um, but I would like to get the Beldum down. Like I said, I would prefer, if this is an Espeon deck, I'd prefer getting the Necrozma down to be able to one-shot him fairly easily. But, oh, 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 I also forgot to mention, that's another good thing for, um, Mimikyu. Mimikyu against Garboder, which I haven't seen too much, oh god dang it, stop it. I haven't seen too much of that. Um, being able to copycat, uh, Trashalange or, uh, Espeons. What is it? Oh wow, thank you for the Beldum. Um, Espeon's attack, Psychic, is really, really good. Oh my god. Do I need anything right now? No, just beacon and grab. Do I think Cobalion will be in this game? No. I'm gonna grab Cobalion and Matang. Just to see if I can draw into something else and I'll be able to Ultra Ball that Cobalion away. But my god, I want to get Metagross out. Maybe I should... I, I'm, I'm holding on this field blower just because I know that that's going to be my... Well played. Okay, I don't think he has anything. Uh, I'll say well played. I think he just... He doesn't have anything he's going to forfeit right now. I'm sorry, Billy the Kid, 731. Yeah, the, he had the DCEs in hand, it looked like. Alright, that wasn't a good start. Oh, we got a prize. We got a mystery prize. 100 coins. Do I have enough for a pack? Can we open a pack? No... The one time 94 has betrayed me. We're gonna get Scans, who I think is a Vulcanian. That coin also makes me think it's a Vulcanian deck. Um, but it had Water, Fire, and Psychic. So Vulcanian, Turnator, Ho-Oh. All that fun stuff. Okay, we're gonna start off with Beldum. Uh, I saw the Lele, so I'm assuming I'm gonna bridge it. And I'd rather have Vulpix out front, I think. Okay, we'll decide anyways. Maybe I should have I should have started off with Mimikyu regardless because they both have one retreat cost. I just totally went too fast because I could have filched. I think that's how you say it, but it's whatever. I also can Guzma and bring up. Okay, no, 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 no. Don't end me. Don't end me. Wait, no, I'm not gonna Guzma. I'm gonna bridge it. Yeah, I'm 100. percent Don't don't do it. Oh, god dang it, he did it. Okay. Mm okay. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Vulpix. I should check. Why did I go so quickly? I should have checked if there was a uh, Bridget. Let's do it in this order. Um. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm doing a lot of thinking right here. I'm trying to decide on how I want to do this. I want to attach to Mimikyu. And we're going to bridge it. I want to hold on to that choice band. I actually wanted the core beam there. Okay, this is going to be... Please don't end me. I feel like he's got an end in hand. Don't end me. I need the choice band. I need the choice band. Come on. Come on. I need that choice band. I run three of them. So if he does end me, I have a decent chance of getting it back. Come on. If I could one-shot this Ho-Oh. Oh my god. Wait, no. He's not gonna do the Phoenix Burn. I needed to get... Oh, that was dumb of me. He's just gonna Sacred Fire, because why would he not? Um... If he doesn't, then we're looking good. But right now, it's not looking promising. Oh my god. I was hoping he would Phoenix Burn this turn. Do 180. Sacred Fire. Dang it! Uh, I didn't think that one fully through. Okay. Well, we do have what we need to get out at least. Necrozma. You. You. N. Okay. One Matang, I needed more than that, but that's all I got. I guess that's cool. Uh, see, this is the thing about post rotation. No freaking. There's just no uh, ways to get supporters back. So once I use my two Guzmas, they're just done for. We're going to peek in here. We're going to grab a Matang and Metagross. We're still in this game. It's just not looking pretty at all. At all. I don't want him to knock out. Well, the other good thing is if he's going to Sacred Fire, he has to get a Fire Energy and Steam up. And he's gone through quite a bit of Fire Energies right now. Five. Oh. Ah! I hate this. I hate this. Like I said, it's not an auto loss, but God, that first turn, Kiawe. Uh, if I could have him just using Power Heater over and over again. Ah, there goes my Choice Band, too. Probably the Brooklyn Hill. No, no Brooklyn Hill. Ah! Uh. Another Sacred Fire. Okay, we need to Vulpix more. <laughs> Give me the Rare Candy. Give me Rare Candy or Skyla. That doesn't help. Um. Yeah, I think we just lose. What we're gonna do is try stalling out a turn here. I'm just gonna hope that he cannot... Now we're going to do this. Can I copycat the Sacred Fire? If your opponent's a Pokemon, use an attack that isn't a GX attack during their turn. I don't know if this will allow me to use Sacred Fire or if it just doesn't do anything. Either way, we're going to Filch. <laughs> it's not worth doing 50 to something. Okay, that's not bad. We'll be able to use our Ultra Ball before... Uh, stop it. Before um, we stick more everything away. God, now he's got a Turtonator set up, too. Okay. That's good for me. We're going to Field Blower. Get rid of those two. Um, Get that set up. I'm going to grab a Beldum. And put him down. So now, how does Copycat work? Is it still just like it does nothing? I haven't messed around with this enough. I, do I have the option to use it? I do have the option to use it, but I don't know if that's good or bad, or if it doesn't matter. Um, just Sycamore. If I could get this guy trapped up here, all he needs is a Guzma or Choice Band, though, which is the crappy part. Okay, we attach to you. We retreat out to Vulpix. And we Beacon. And we just need Matang. Yeah, I have no... Yeah. I have no... Uh, what she calls it? It's, uh, rare candies in hand. I could no, I can't ultra ball for the Tapu Lele unless he knocks me out. 
Which right now, I feel like he just drew into a Guzma. So far, okay, that's almost as good as a Guzma, because that's a Lele for a Guzma. He's only used one so far. This does look like he's got a post-rotation deck, which is kind of good. Kind of gives us a better chance, but still not looking too solid right here. Hopefully he just goes for an N. Lele for an N. I haven't seen the Hex, right? Yeah, no Hexes, no VS Seekers. This is all post-rotation stuff so far. Okay, place down the Lele. Please, no Guzma. If he grabs Guzma, we're, we lost. Hold the phone. This is where Mimikyu comes in handy. Still have a chance. Not kind of set up quite yet. Just about there, but not quite yet. Honestly, yeah, we lost. <laughs> but. <laughs> but. I, I just. Let me use Mimikyu. Let me knock out this Turtonator. Let's watch a Mimikyu knock out a Turtonator really quick. It's a glorious sight that I really just want to see. We're going to attach to you, and we're going to end him down to two. Because that's what I need right now. Um, we did... Wow, okay. We're not quite out yet. We're just about, but not quite out yet. 490. Perfect amount. I love it. I love Mimikyu. I don't know why. I love Mimikyu as a Pokemon, and just being able to use Mimikyu like that makes me so happy. Um, all he needs to do is knock out one of my Necrozmas. If he has a Guzma... Mm, he doesn't win. He has an N. Okay, that's fine. That's fine with me. Um, as long as we hit an Ultra Ball or a Metagross, we're good. I do need to hit a Metagross, though. Okay, perfect. Um, what do we do here? Oh, he doesn't even... Okay, no, that's game. There's no way I could win this now. I need to hit a Guzma. Because he one-shots me with his Ho-Oh. Yeah, no, I can't do anything. I'm gonna evolve to him. Um, yep, yeah, nope, that's it. We can attach. Geotech system. Just one short. I need one more. One more energy attached to him. All right, that's game. <laughs> that's a little unfortunate, but like I said, we have a chance at least against Volcanian. It's not a good chance, but we do have a chance. It's just, he would, he, that first turn, Kiawe, just ruined it for me. Like, that, that just took out all the chances I had. Because Ho-Oh is the hard one to knock out. That's the issue. Like, I could knock out Volcanion, no problems. It's just Ho-Oh. Mm, it sucks. And Turtonator, I have the perfect math for being able to, okay, no, don't be another Ninetales deck. If they, if they evolve into Ninetales GX, that's an easy one-hit KO for me. If they evolve into Baby Ninetales, then it's, it's, it's nearly... Impossible. <laughs> it's so hard to get the ma math correct. I basically have to go around my tangs. Yeah, I have to use the tangs in that matchup. Let's see what it, their deck or yeah, their hand was. All right, we only got one mulligan, which is fine. Two. Oh, nice. Sweet. That's not a bad start. Um. Oh, I forgot that I added Cobalion. It's a Greninja. Oh crap. <laughs> they mulligan five times. Oh, they're. Oh, I should have I should have paid attention. I didn't see if it was post or pre rotation. I saw a lot of post rotation. I didn't see a single one to say that it wasn't. Cobalion. Why did I place you down? I I'm not gonna be using you. You're not good in this matchup. Um I don't think I could win this. <sighs> what do I do here? I Ultra Ball and grab a... Oh my god. Okay, one one, one Matang and one Metagross is prized. I think I grabbed Vulpix. We're not attacking this turn. But I'm just going to get Vulpix up there in front. And we're going to end. And hopefully he draws into nothing. Hopefully. We got another Beldum, which is nice. And we hit the Heavy Ball. Which Heavy Ball we could get uh, Metagross or... Matang out with. Uh, I'm just gonna throw that down to thin out the deck a tiny bit and done. Hopefully, hopefully, no Wally. No Wally. Please, no Wally. Okay, Dive Ball, so he's getting out another Froakie. Um, hopefully, he sees that three um, lovely little Frogadiers are prized. That would be great right now. This deck is so, so hard.
to beat. I mean, Gobelian might actually give me a running chance. Um, he needs... No, not not a good chance. The good news is we have Guzma. Wait, did he not... What did he grab with the dive ball? Why didn't he grab a f Froki? Okay, um, we're gonna grab a lovely... Matang. And evolve you. Oh, I can't Guzma because he doesn't have a Pokemon down. God dang it. Okay, done. I was going to Guzma there and get rid of Paralysis, but that's not how it works because I need his my opponent to have a Pokemon on their bench. Okay. Maybe he knew that going into it. He's going to end me. That helps me out a little bit. That might actually hurt him. If he draws into like two Frogadiers, he's only grabbing one. Hopefully he drew into at least one Frogadier. But I don't know. I was going to say, but he needs to get a Pokemon on his bench, but with Frogadier's Water Duplicates, he's going to get two or three. Okay, Professor's Letter. It does look like it's post-rotation. You don't see Professor's Letter often at all, so I think this is post-rotation. So that's kind of nice. We'll be going Ultra Ball. Are you getting rid of two Water Energies? Okay. Interesting. Another Froki. I mean, that makes sense, but I would think he would stop. <laughs> just, just stop. Um, he must have a rescue stretcher in hand because he's going to want to grab back that frogadier. Unless he's going to go retreat out and bubble me. Bubble one. What just happened? <laughs> um, alright. <laughs> Still. Not quite sure of what just happened. Game? But thank you, game. Um, I'm gonna Skyla here. Do I grab an Ultra Ball? What did I grab? I think I wanna grab a Sycamore, actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I need it for next turn. I can get Matang, and I can get... Uh, Metagross out with Vulpix right now, so that's that's just yeah, that's that's what I have to do. I can also use Mimikyu for Shadow Stitching. I don't know how relevant that's gonna be, but my opponent chose not to water duplicates there, which is really like I said, he's gotta have it in his hand, I guess. Okay, maybe he had a plan going into that. Now he's gonna water duplicates. I guess that wasn't a bad idea, but okay, no, it's pre rotation. All right, he's got the he's got the hexes and he's got the VS seekers. I, I I think he would run one hex maniac in this deck, and he's gonna end me, which kind of sucks, but it's not the end of the world. At least we got rid of Skyla. That's the way I'm gonna look at it. Um, Necrozma. Okay, good. We got one of those. Nothing else that's good. I can't rescue stretch for anything else. I just have to end this following turn. It looks like. Hopefully he drew into the rest of his. Okay, that's not gonna matter. Hopefully he drew into the. Why aren't you water du Do you not have any? I'm so confused on what he's doing. I'm going to end. I don't want to get rid of my max potions or my rescue stretcher. Okay, we got a Metagross, which I needed. I can knock out... Okay, I'm so confused on what he's doing. I feel like I'm just not understanding anything right now. We're going to do that. Geotech system. Uh, no, give me the psychic energy. And just knock him out. Yeah. I mean, being able to get rid of that Frogadier means no water duplicates at all. I feel like he has to have some bad prizes right now. I feel like that's why he's playing really weird. That's that's my only explanation. Like, I, I don't quite get it. Choice ban, that's never fun. Greninja Break, that's never fun either, because I can't one-shot that. Oh. Are you not going to Shadow Stitch? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, that's good for me. Getting rid of Splash Energy is very good for me. Because now that you have it, Water Duplicates, we're looking very promising. He's going to grab a Froakie. We're looking very promising right now. I, I... Either he's new to Greninja, or... You can't be new to Greninja. Like, you've seen how Greninja's played. Okay, he's going to Shadow Stitching me. That's fine. I think he just wanted there, that on there just in case. Um... Uh, 
Okay. I'm gonna get rid of you two. And we're gonna grab a Matang. We're gonna Algorithm GX this turn, which is pretty much a way of me telling my opponent to end me. Um, because I have a bad hand. So yeah, we're gonna go with that. I'm not able to... Okay, wait, before we do this. I'm not able to use my other move, uh, Giga Hammer, because I can't use that the following turn. But I still can Algorithm GX. So I will grab a Rare Candy, for sure. Um, I don't need anything else in the Pokemon District. I do want a Psychic Energy. Um, and Guzma. And I don't need anything else, but I'm going to go ahead and grab a Choice Band just to get it out of my deck so later on I don't draw dead. Basically, I just want to attach it to one of my Pokemon. Because it's doing nothing in this matchup because it's all Greninjas. They might have a Tapu Lele. Or not Tapu Lele, Tapu Fini. I have typed Tapu Fini in Greninja decks, and it's, it's fairly good. Especially against Greninja match Or not Greninja matchups. Um, actually, it's pretty good against Greninja matchups too, but uh, mainly against... Uh, Gardevoir matchups. Getting rid of like a Gardevoir, just throwing them back. Tapu Storm. That's the only reason why you would use it. Uh, Tapu Storm to get all of your opponent's Pokemon into back to the active Pokemon into the deck. Getting a Gardevoir with like six energies and Choice Band back in the deck is so demotivating to your opponent. Um, he's Sycamore did not end me, so that's actually surprising. I kind of chose really quickly because I just assume that we're gonna get end because like I'd say once out of like oh there goes my Beldum. Yep, yep. How many water energies has he gone through? Four, five, and then three spell ash energies? That's a lot. He did use a fisherman, or he didn't use a fisherman, but I saw him discard it. And he's got VS Seekers, so he'll be able to grab that back fairly easily. So that kind of sucks. Yeah, I, I, this, it doesn't work out well when you use um, Metagross against Greninja. What he's going to do now, and what he should do, unless they're prized still, he should retreat and water duplicates here. Because even if I do have my abilities, it's doing nothing. I do have a Metagross, so I will be able to evolve him. But essentially, it's doing nothing. Okay, that's fine. I don't need abilities this turn. That's what I'm trying to say. We're going to do that. Oh, crap. I could have max potioned. Huh. Yeah, what I should have done is uh, Max Potion and then... Well, no, I don't have abilities. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Alright, and... Now, how can I knock out... I can't knock him out this turn unless I had a Pokemon Ranger, which I don't run in this deck. <sighs> We're going to Giga Hammer just for 150 because Choice Band doesn't make a difference against Greninja Break. So it's not a knockout. But if he do, if he does use Max Potion, it's not that bad. Because he's going to get rid of more energies unless he follows that up with a VS Seeker for your boy. Or Super Rod. Alright, there goes all of the energies back in there. I'm assuming? No, he's starting to frog a deer back in there. He's going to water duplicates and get that one on the bench? Because if he does, I think that's game over. If he Shadow Stitches me, it's not game over. Because I will just knock him out right back. I need to hit a field blower. I have three in this deck and I haven't used a single one. I love how I go, I, I, I sit down to record a video and immediately I get the two hardest matchups I can. And my video is supposed to go live right now and I don't have things set up at all. So that's fun. That doesn't matter though right now. Let's see, what will he do? He's taking a sweet time just sitting there doing nothing. If I was him, I think the play would be to water duplicates, because right now, he has the max potion. That might also be good for me. And I'm here to see the fisherman. Just show me the fisherman. Just do it. Just do it. You're knocking my Metagross out this turn. No, Sycamore. If he just fisherman there, or fisherman, whatever you want to call it. Um, hell if I didn't feel blower away my choice bands. I mean, it makes sense not to, but could have um i don't run float stones in this day he might assume that i might run float stones so just leave the choice bands on my pokemon so i'm not able to get rid of them all right my metagross should be going away this turn unless he goes for the vulpix or the necrozma or something no yeah okay he's knocking out my metagross which is fine <sighs> not another froakie not another froakie 
Don't do it to me. Okay, he's getting set up. God dang it. It's just, it's, this isn't, the numbers don't add up. Kakui would help out a ton, but with Via Seeker being gone, Kakui would only help me against Greninja once. And then they have like five more Greninjas just up and attacking me. I don't know how they got five up, but they do. They have the freaking, oh, and he's gone. I'm going to Guzma knock out the Greninja break in the back because that's pretty much all I have going in my life right now. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's the goal for right now. We're also going to end him. Well, I'm not going to end him. What am I talking about? I can't end him. We're going to get rid of these two. Because like I said, I'm going to knock out the Greninja break in the back. Um, attach that to you, Guzma. <sighs> just, he could keep shadow stitching. You can just keep shadow stitching. I guess the play that I should have done there is knock out the Greninja with the energy into it and hope that he can't get any more energies out after I end him down to three. That's not gonna work. This is this is such a bad matchup for me. Let's let's see the Frogadier and the I mean like pretty much my one hope against Greninja break is that I hit my my max potion's perfect timing and I'm able to deck him out, but how often would that happen, especially if they're running VS Seeker Fisherman, so yeah, it's not likely at all. And VS Seeker ends, so it's not gonna work like that. I'm just gonna concede now. Well, let's see. Does he do it? I love how my hands are like this. Let's see if he does anything this turn. If he's got, if he just shadows to cheat, yeah. If he shadows to cheat me, I just lose. It'll take too long to get set up. Yeah, no, I'm gonna concede. This is this is gonna be long and painful. It is hot. I am sweaty. I just went into the description and then I realized that it was like a hundred degrees in here. Oh, I am looking gross. I am looking disgusting and I apologize for that. I don't look good at all. Zeals! Zeals! I, I should move my... You know what? Let's do it now. Let's do it live. We're, we're moving. This is going to feel so weird to me. Oh. Oh, that's why I haven't done it yet. I forgot about that. Alright, we're not doing it now. Is that where it was? I don't know where it was. Done. We're mixing everything up now. Alright. Actually, no. I think I had it up a little bit. Hold on. No, we're... No! No! No. Done. Okay. No, this is beautiful. We're going up against a Gardevoir deck. I should have no issues against this. Where was it? Was it right... No, I think it was right here. Oh, God. I messed everything up. Oh, I love how I started off with two Necrozmas. Okay, game. Great. Fantastic. And I would love to be able to Ultra Ball for Alele and Bridget... But if I don't hit, end me, please end me. Please end me. Like, right now, my hand is dead, other than the Ultra Ball. Well, I mean, like, I can do stuff, which is nice. <sighs> okay. End me. Just end me. I I'm thinking so hard about, like, plays in the future, because I don't want to fall behind against the Gardevoir deck. Because Gardevoir can easily, well not easily, but can knock out a Metagross. And if I only have one Metagross set up, then I'm in trouble. So right now, if it's, oh, end me. Don't bridge it. Don't bridge it. End me. Your hand is dead too. Just end me. Come on. Dang it. Okay. Um. <sighs> He's going to grab two Bridgets and probably a Vulpix or a Deontzi. Let's see. What does he grab? Okay. I want to top draw into something phenomenal right now. Mainly a Bridget or an N. If I hit a Bridget or an N, that solves a lot of... Or a Sycamore. That solves a lot of my issues. A lot of my issues. That solved none of my issues. Okay. Field Blower isn't going to be too necessary during this, and Necrozma is definitely not going to be necessary during this. So, the play to make is Lele. Let's see what's prized first. Um, one Beldum and one Metagross, it looks like. Vulpix is there, which is good. One Lele is prized. Okay, that hurts. That really hurts. Bridget's not prized. Three energies are prized okay this sucks um what we're gonna have to do here is we're not bridgeting and we're not ending we're sycamoring which i don't like at all but we have to right now 
Because if I, uh, let's say I bridge it. What I wanted to do was bridge it here and use the Lele bridge it, um, put Vulpix and two Beldums down, and then next turn, Guzma, bring out Vulpix and be able to grab the other Lele and use it to get an end if I didn't draw into something beforehand. But because the other Lele is prized, I have no choice. So that's always fun. And wow, okay, great. Great. Like, I don't think we're going to need that at all this game. We're going to have to get rid of both Guzmas? Are you serious? I, I have to. I have to. I straight up have to. I need to get a Beldum out. Now, if he knocks out my Beldum, I'm just... I'm so far behind. Yeah. I am so far behind as it is. I need him to... Okay, that's a bad start. Sycamore, that's even a worse start. Please get rid of a Gardevoir. Please get rid of a Gardevoir. Oh, uh, and uh, doing pre-rotation too, which is going to make it a lot more harder. Because that means... That means they're going to have Hex Maniac and uh, a lovely little bunch of... Oh, I already got rid of a VS Seeker. Actually, that's good for me. Two VS Seekers gone. This is going to be doing 60 damage. If they whip out a Choice Band, it's doing 90, which is a two-shot. Which, if she does, I'm in trouble. Nope, okay. Not... Oh, beautiful. Okay, I need to hit me. Give me a steel energy. Give me a steel energy. There we go. There's two of my three. I, I, okay. All right. Really? <laughs> this. This is how stage three decks end up functioning, if not going correctly, is exactly how this is going right now. They're very clunky, which Alolan Vulpix allows them to become less clunky, but it's not going too well for me this game either. Right now, I'm just getting frustrated. Okay, so they are running pretty much... I think this is the world's deck. This is the number... This is uh, Diego uh, Casa something. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. I'm sorry. Um, but this looks like it's the exact deck list so far. Which is fun. And they got the Gardevoir up. And they got the Gardevoir up. Now, worst case scenario is he has another energy in there and he Guzmas me. I forgot about Abyssal Hand. Well, at least that's his Abyssal Hand. Only for three. So that means... Please no Guzma. No energy. No energy. No en... I mean, the good news is, I could rescue Stretcher him back. That's the only, only good news. Yeah, we can max potion you too, so it's not such an easy knockout anymore. Okay, we're gonna lose a Beldum or a Matang here, which kind of sucks. Um, yeah, do that. Sycamore. I was thinking about attaching a the psychic energy to Do I grab the third one out? Do I? I think I do. I don't think field blowers. I'm still gonna say this, field blowers aren't good for this matchup. Oh, they're just kinda useless to dead weight. We grab the bell dump. Oh. He's taking one, so it's 120. Yeah, it's not worth bringing out yet. Cobalion isn't worth taking out until He's down to three prizes. Okay. We beacon. We grab Matang. And that's it. That's it. Because I'm probably going to end up Sycamore in a way that Metagross, which sucks, unless I hit a rare candy. If I hit a rare candy... Oh, game on. Game on. I mean, game is not off yet, by any means. But if he's able to string together Guzmas and just keep knocking out things that I don't... That I don't want him to. <laughs> Knocking me out with a Tapu Lele as well. Just add insult to injury, please. Oh, I cannot wait to knock out that Gardevoir. Oh, that moment I knock out that Gardevoir is gonna feel so good. So good. Mimikyu does come in handy against this matchup, too. I will have two energies on Mimikyu for Copycat. And then, for this guy, for instance, he has... 
two, four. So six energies total, which is doing 60 times 30 is 180. So if he builds up that Gardevoir a little bit more, I, I'll be able to knock him out with uh, Mimikyu. We're bringing you up. Please wear candy. Please wear candy. Or Skyla. That doesn't help. <laughs> I, I know, Link. I'm upset about it, too. Me and Link both understand how upset we are right now. Okay, we're doing... Link, come here. I, I gotta stop leaving that door open. We're gonna bring out Cabalion. I want him out now. Oh. Come here. Hey. I closed the door on him. He's not happy about that. He was very upset about the kids talking outside. He's a grumpy old man now. Okay, we got Mimikyu, so we do still have options. Throw you down. We beacon. We just grab Metagross. Okay. We have the two Metagrosses in our deck. Metagross is whatever you want to call it. He's used two Guzmas and two VS Seekers. Do not grab another one, you jerk. Don't do it to yourself. So far, so good. So far, so good. He had the Abyssal Hand early. I'm waiting for the VS Seeker Guzma. Why do you attach... Come here, buddy. Come here. Why do you attach the DCE... Okay, that that's fine with me. Why do you attach the DCE to the Curly instead of the Gardevoir? There might be a meaning behind... Or, like, a reason behind that? Okay, well, he got it to Gardevoir regardless. Maybe he wanted to get that into a Gallade? That makes sense. You get rid of those. I don't want those. Those don't matter to me. Get, hurry up. You see the two choice bands? Get rid of them. <laughs> They're doing... Okay, you leave it on the Necrozma. He knows that. I'm not even going to knock out. Even with the choice band, it's doing 220 with three psychic energies. So, yeah, it's not doing much there. Um, He has not attached to Lele. And he already used his DCE. So he doesn't have an attachment. He'll have to Secret Spring a Fairy Energy onto Lele if he wants to knock out. You alright, Tiger? Um, okay, that's not bad. We attach to you. Um. We have two in there. <sighs> okay, we attach to him. And we end, and we need to hit Metagross. Please, or an Ultra Ball. Heavy ball. Oh, my God. Okay, no, we did have one in there, too. Okay, so we weren't out of it yet. Actually, we're shuffling a full line of Metagross back in. Because that that's... Yeah, no, that works. Oh, okay, that's beautiful. Didn't I just get a belt? Okay, no, there's a belt in there. I was very confused on why that was like that. Okay, okay, we're knocking out... Not this Lele. I forgot that's not a knockout. Um... 290 we can do is do some damage with this Cobalion Co Co I'm never going to say it the same way um, with Revenge Blast which is doing I believe 90 so I can two shot him and force him to retreat and get rid of that DCE and also if he decides to bring up Gardevoir here and knock me out, which I have a feeling is going to be a secret Guzma this turn. Although it's not doing too much. Um, that's a one prize, one prize gone. So even though I'm getting rid of Koba Lion early, I don't know how to say it. Um, early, that's not a big deal to me. Because um, right now all I have to do is knock out two Metagrosses. If he knocks out Cobalion, he still has to knock out two Metagrosses or something in the back or whatever. Basically, I'm trying to make it a seven prize game and that's what I want to have happen. Another card that I would say could be good in this deck is Ace Rolla. Although with Ace Rolla, I have found to be very situational. And without VS Seeker now, it's not good. It sucks. Oh. Okay, he's going to take a knockout. Um, he's got four on him, so he's not knocking out. He's not knocking out Necrozma. Although he is slowing me down quite a bit. So 
So I need, oh, God dang it, you jerk. Oh, Necrozma, why did I have to start with you? I would have never placed you down. Necrozma has two retreat costs, so it just makes it all that more difficult. <laughs> all right. I know what we have to do here, and I kind of actually like it. We are going to Black Rage GX, which, in my mind, totally useless move in this, uh, this matchup. But, we're knocking out the Lele in the back. Never thought that move would come in handy against a Gardevoir matchup, but hey, okay, there's one Steel Energy. So if he does knock out this Necrozma this turn, which he's going to, not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. And we will be able to take out... Oh, okay. I'm perfectly fine with that. That means you have nothing. Okay. And we got the... Okay. So, he, he's still got Abyssal Hand, which kind of sucks. Oh, he's getting that one set up back there, too. Basically, I just don't want him to knock out a Metagross. But I think that's going to be unavoidable. Actually, we have a we have this guy here, so that's good news for me. Um I'm going to throw down Beldum just on the off chance I might be able to get my another Metagross built up. But I'm going to end him down to two too many cards in his hand. Although he's going to be able to Bissel hand right back, but I'd rather him be down to that low. Oh, I did hit a rare candy. Um, we're gonna knock out this uh, lovely little Gardevoir with Revenge Blast. <laughs> Gobalion's good. I everyone sleeps on Gobalion. It's that's good. It's good. It's very situ. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Kill him. Oh, he brought up. Wow. Okay, Guzma. I'm ready for the Guzma. Show me the Guzma for the top of Lele and easy knockout. I said that so disappointingly, but he might have just brought that up because he doesn't want my like. He might have just brought that up because that's a one prize as well. So I would have to hit Guzma, which I think I've gotten rid of both of my Guzmas. So Guzma's out of the option. Whatever he brings up is what I have to knock out. Oh god, dang it! Okay, VS Seeker Guzma, Abyssal Hand. So far, two, three VS Seekers. He has one VS Seeker. He he does have another Guzma. He does have another Guzma. I know he does. You don't run one Guzma. You don't run one Guzma. You run two or three. Some decks even four. Come on. Be nice. Be nice. I'm getting Nancy. Don't leave me hanging. You knock out my Tapu Lele. Okay, now you definitely knock out my Tapu Lele. Where's the Guzma? Pass. Do it. <laughs> Pass. That's fine. I knew he had hacks. I told you guys earlier in the game that he had hacks. Okay. He's gonna. He's probably gonna beacon for nothing. I don't think you grab anything here because you're gonna, you're gonna want an abyssal hand, unless you want to grab like a Ralts or something. I don't think you grab anything here other than basic. Two Tapu Leles. Okay. We're we're ending you because <laughs> I can't Guzma right now. Um. Okay, so he needs nine energies total to knock me out. This Gardevoir back here has two, six, seven. <sighs> well, I mean, it doesn't matter at that point. If he's going to Guzma me, he knocked out my Lele as it is. So, yeah, there's... Oh, forgot about that. There's literally nothing I can do if he Guzmas me. So, I need to just hope that he doesn't hit it. And that he doesn't hit the top of the Lele's now, because that is... I saw... He showed me two, so that's always fun. That's always fun. Um, but I'm knocking out anything with Cobalion and Metagross. Okay, come on. We just gotta hope that we end them into nothing. That's all I. That's all we can do right now. And there's the energy. So if he doesn't, if he doesn't knock me out here, we win. Oh, this is such a good matchup for me. It shouldn't be this close, but oh no. Well, he had to do that if he's going to Guzma. Even if he doesn't have it, he should do that. 
please just abyssal hand now. Okay, he abyssal hand for three. He's got nothing yet. Please, 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 no VS Seeker, no Guzmo. No VS Seeker, no Guzmo. You have two left. You have two out of 15 cards. Did you hit it? Did you hit it? You didn't. You didn't. I don't believe you did. I don't. You're bluffing. You don't have it. You don't got it. There's no way in hell you got it. Come on. Come on. Let Obalian show you who's boss right now. Let Obalian show you why he deserves to be on the squad. Come on. Crap. <laughs> what we have to hope for now is that Guzma's prized. You don't got the Guzma. You don't got it. Get out of here. Come on. Please. Please. Come on. Bringing up the... You could knock out Michael Ballion. You guys have no... Oh. Alright. You could just let me knock you out with Gobalion. Come on. Well played. He did, he did actually really good that game. I think one of his Guzmas was prized, and that was the issue there. We get a hammer for 300 damage and knockout. Oh my god. That draw with the metal energy didn't matter because I could have Geotech system that turn. It didn't. Oh my god. That was way too close for a game that should be an auto win. Oh my god. Why did I have to get Necrozma as the starting Pokemon? I had two basics as my opening hand and they were both Necrozma. Why is that it? I run two. I run four Beldums and a Vulpix. Like, you can't give me one of them? I run a Lele. I'd rather have a Lele than a Necrozma out to begin with. Oh my god, that gave me a migraine. Okay, this is where it's going to make up for me, and it's going to give me a lovely, lovely, lovely Necrozma Secret Rare. Watch, I'm telling you guys, Necrozma Secret Rare, that easily. All you got to do is tell it, and it gives it to you. Show me. Let's see, Sophocles Reverse. I told you guys it was going to be that. And... Necrozma Secret Tangrowth! I told you guys. Anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like. I'll open one more. It was I was bluffing. That was the one where we're gonna get the good stuff. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Link is currently getting me. He's getting me good right now. Anything good? Hey, nice roller reverse. That's not bad, at least. But we're gonna get a full art ace roller. A Tangrowth. Alright, I'm done. Anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy. Get out of here. <gasps> you knuckleheads.